Customer purchasing power is also completely depending on the environmental because customers to customer their purchasing power will be increased or decreased based on their occupation. If you are starting any business, you are offering a product to the end consumers, of course you have to target the customer basis only. Because of unemployment, the individual customer they are not ready to spend because their income level is decreased because they are not working, right? That's what with the help of social media, most of the company they are promoting their product, they can capture too many customers. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. So we are in the uni 2 section 3, first semester BBA, marketing environmental. In the last section, I have explained uh, marketing environmental, internal environmental factors as well as under external factor, micro I have already taught in the last section. So here today my focus is an external environmental macro. Macro is a it is a complete uh, the total industry it is call it as macro. Okay, so because when we are studying which is macro environmental even the company don't have a any control towards external factors or force. Okay, so moving forward. So first one demographical as a marketer they need to study about the demography because the demography which is lying on outside uh, that's what we don't have any control here. So under demographical it is a systematic study of human population okay because as a businessman how they want to produce the product based on the customer requirement so customer requirement when they are try to study so each and every factors which is related to demographical so demographical environmental is a scientific study of human population in the human population there are too many factors which is covered based on the uh, age based on the income based on the education so which is completely depending on the environmental factor which is related to demography okay so here the population in terms of elements such as age see when the producer they are trying to produce the product based on the age also they want to capture the information from the the gender male or female because too many product is offered to the male, too many product is offered to female. Of course, uh, as a marketer, they want to study the demographical factors before they start producing the product or providing a service. Okay, and even the education is also a very important factor which is coming under the demographical because uh, when you are studying external source, company don't having any control. So even the occupation, there are too many profession, uh, skilled workers, employees, there are different different types of occupations as a marketers they want to study. Even the income level is very important because based on the income, the marketers or organization, they are focusing on many products. So, which is income based also you have to study and location because each and every location how you are able to identify the customers whom you are targeting based on the location and the size of the family okay what kind of size which is related to family size okay and even the growth rate so keep on growth rate will be you have to monitor even the age composition and sex composition family size economic certification of the population educations level language, caste, religion, there are too many factors which is coming under the demographical factor because as a businessman they don't have any control that's what okay. The factor relevant to business, if you are starting any business you are offering a product to the end consumers of course you have to target the customer basis only. Okay, and it also includes the increasing the role of women and technology because now everybody is working, even the human playing role is very important. Uh, technology, how it is related to business, okay. And this element is also called as a demographical variable. The variable we are keep on, it is varied. Customers to customer, their taste, their preference will be keep on varied. And before marketing a product, marketers collect the information to find a suitable market for the product. So, too many product is related to the uh, different different demography why they are studying because when you are producing a product when you are keeping all these factors very important okay before starting a production moving forward the demographical environmental is responsible for variation in the taste and preference and buying pattern of the individual because the, the taste when you are studying there are different types of consumers are we are able to identify each and every customers are each and every consumers are unique characters so that's what their taste will be keep on varied which is coming under the demographical environmental the change of demographical environmental pursued an organization to modify the marketing strategy and address the altering need of customer because keep on when you are studying a demographical factors 
is very important because most of the customers are based on the demographical characters only we need to study and also this demographical variable affect the demand for goods and so because as a marketers as an organization they are offering a too many product and too many service so each and every product is not suit for everybody right so that's what you need to study before starting a product who is your customers and marketers uh, with growing populations the income and growth of market because in the growing market you are giving importance towards the demographical environmental of course you can find out the growth rate so but uh, decline the birth rate in the country like united state when you are studying because the birth rate is a decrease now for example johnson and johnson is always focusing a product like a baby product baby soap so when there is no birth rate uh, if it is there means no problem johnson and johnson baby product will be there is a lot of demand birth rate is a decrease so here there is no demand for johnson and johnson that's why they are try to focus on next segment okay so affected the demand for baby product Johnson and Johnson had overcome this problem by repositioning the, their product like baby shampoo and baby soap and promoting them to adult segmentation particularly female because uh, they want to sustain in the US market means of course Johnson and Johnson company they are trying to go for the repositioning in the different brand introducing a different brand, just focusing a female product okay moving forward so next factor under economical any company or any organization surviving because of economical condition there are too many problem which is related to economical factor as a marketers they want to study before they introducing any product or service so here the marketing depend on the economical environment to sell finished good because as a producer when they start producing a product completely they want to sell more and more sale so obviously when they are expecting a more sale from the market of course they are generating a revenue so here the economic related few issues are there here inflations and very interest rate supply of money and demand monetization this is and all it is covering under the economical because you have already studied the subject like economical there are too many factors we are covered here so will influence the demand and willingness of the product because customers are always depending the even the company also they were focusing on the economical factor because we are finally expecting a demand and supply from the society or market so this is very important as a marketer they want to study economical economical environmental affect the organization cost structure because and any producer they start producing they definitely they are preparing a cost structure what is the, the cost of the productions okay of course they want to prepare a cost structure and the customer purchasing power is also completely depending on the environmental because customers to customer their purchasing power will be increase or decrease based on their occupation they based on the their profession even it is very influencing for your marketing the product so of course the purchasing power of the customer depend upon the current income so suppose even employees everybody is working in the family of course there is a income generation so there is a lot of demand for the products so the price of the product it is very important even the customer uh, they are ready to purchase a, a luxury product okay so because they are ready to spend because they have any ambitions to fulfill their needs so here the saving part and credit availability everything which is related to economical factor the factors economical environmental is a few points here one is inflation increase here inflations may which is related to economical factor it influences the customers demand for different product there are too many product is offered so based on the economical conditions when you are offering for example higher petrol price lead to fall in the demand of car because of high the fuel cost is more so so there are too many customers they are not ready to go for car because uh, there is a high price in the petrol because of the high price of the petrol the demand is fall okay so next interest rate of course any company they are ready to go for investment okay they are approaching a financial institution so interest rate if it is increased the borrowing power is also decrease okay so here it determine the borrowing activity for the organization because the finance is very important how they are arranging okay when they are approaching a bank uh, loan of course the organization when they are ready to go for charging the institution are charging high rate of interest the organizations they 
are not going to borrow the loan and for example here increasing in interest for loan may lead organizations to cut their uh, important activity because the, when their company are decided to extend their market uh, if the company want to extend the production okay increase the production capacity of course they are depending on the finance source so whenever they are going and approaching the financial institution if the rate is very important so because of that rate of interest will be increased the organizations are they are not ready to concentrate on more important activity moving forward and even the economical under economical the major issues which is related to unemployment when you are uh, finding it too many when government is facing a problem towards the un unemployment here so which is quite similar to the economical here uh, it lead to no income state uh, which affect the purchasing power of an individual because of unemployment uh, the individual customer they are not ready to spend uh, because their income level is decreased because they are not working right that's what so here next one customer income customers to customer their income generations will be increasing nowadays if you take the women are working because the income generation is more only one person when they are working but the income level is compared to less okay here if the two people are working everybody is working so of course the income level is also increase it regulate the buying behavior of the customer because the customers when they have ready to spend money based on the income of course they can fulfill whatever they want okay based on their requirement the change in the customer income lead to the changing spending pattern of the product such as food and clothing because now husband and wife are working of course they don't have any time to prepare the food so of course there is a lot of demand for food and clothing so that's why there is a lot of demand for the supermarket they because they are getting all the product whatever they want within a one roof and monetary and fiscal policy monetary and fiscal policy which is related to economical and environmental factors it affect the all the organization the monetary policy stabilize the economic by controlling the interest rate the monetary policy when the government is introducing a too many policy which is related to economical development or monetary focusing so uh, interest rate and sub money supply in the economy whereas fiscal policy which is nothing but the government expenditure which is uh, towards the infrastructure building okay the, the government is getting a income from the tax collection okay so here uh, regulating the government for spending there are too many activity the government is ready to go for spending clear the various areas by collecting the revenue from the city, citizen by taxing their income because when the government the major source of income is uh, completely depending on the tax right that's what moving forward so next under macro environmental social culture the social culture is completely as a marketer they need to study much better the social culture the social culture environmental comprise the forces such as uh, society basis value attitude to perception and behavior so because the customers to customer uh, the consumers to consumer their culture their tradition their preference will be keep on change uh. so even you are not as a marketers you can't focus for everybody so based on their culture we are as a marketers they are try to produce their product providing a service clear so this force help the determining what type of product customers are prepared because the, the when customers are giving a priority for traditions or culture or customs okay of course their belief so uh, what influence the purchasing attitude and decision which brand uh, they prepare and what time they buy the product all or everything is depending on the social culture the customers also ready to go and reject the product they are ready to purchase or reject the product based on their culture the social culture environmental ex explain the characteristic of the society in which the organization exit okay so the social culture whatever as a marketer if they studied before introducing a product it will take you to success uh, the analysis of social culture environmental help in organizations to identify the threats and opportunity in an organization that's what every business they are trying to do for the uh, swat analysis strength weakness opportunity threat analysis before starting a, any activity moving forward for example here the lifestyle of the people are changing uh, day by day the day by day their tradition uh, will be changing because uh, whatever the in the last year uh, they are 
purchasing now the same thing they are not purchasing now because of the day to day demand preference will be keep on change okay everybody is updating right that's what so now the women are pursued an active earning member of the family because women are working nowadays they don't have any time to prepare a food there is a lot of demand in the food industry and if all the members of family are working then the family has less time to spend for shopping that's why there is a lot of demand for the supermarket big bazaar and all clear so this has lead to the development of shopping mall and supermarket where the individual could get everything under one roof because they don't have any specific they don't want to spend uh, going somewhere different different market if they are getting the product in one roof of course they are giving more priority for them for the uh, supermarket the culture is understood that uh, complex all which include the knowledge and believe art moral law customs and other capability and habit acquired by the individual member of the society because the culture state to state uh, city to city their culture of course the kashmirian what they are liking the food uh, based on their culture food priority the same the kashmirian they are not giving a priority for the south indian so, so there is a lot of difference uh, there uh, the customs will be change their preference will be changed their belief will be changed there is too many examples for culture so that's what as a marketer they want to study which culture okay based on the culture also the product is offered moving forward and political and legal now everybody almost all the business they want to fulfill the basic requirement which is made by the government okay to follow the political and legal guidelines you have to follow so there are too many related activity which is completely based on the political and legal force as a organization they don't have any control in this political and legal this factor force the operation for marketing which include government regulation and policy declaration nature of constitution because government are introducing a just for protecting the society just uh, they are introducing a too many rules uh, regulation act or it's there act towards the competition act towards the uh, customers okay so of course as a businessman you have to study before that for example uh, some uh, region in uttar pradesh reliance fresh lead had a uh, shut down its uh, store because of lack of political support because the reliance is not getting any support from the political that's why they need to shut down the reliance fresh retail various legislation affect the marketing activity are as follow one is anti pollution law anti pollution law is made for the business okay because as a businessman you don't want to spoil the environment or pollute the environment so which affect the production and the manufacturing of various product because when there is a law of course you have to follow the law and customer legislation which try to protect the customer interest because finally you need to give a full priority about the customers when you are fulfilling when you are satisfying based on the customers what the, if you are gaining the interest or confidence from the customers of course which is related to customer legislation the legislation is made by the government which lead to protect the customer interest because you are not producing that's what there is a lot of demand for green products okay green eco friendly products so there is a lot of demand the important act set by the indian government uh, which affect the marketing environmental of an organization moving forward so these are the act here one is prevention of food and adulteration act in, in the year of 1954 uh, and drug control act which is just any medicines company or pharmaceutical company before launching a product called medicine so of course they want to get approval from the drug control Act. and even the company act 1956 again the year now 2013 company act okay now there are company uh, when they want to fulfill they are following this act okay the standard weighing and measurement act which is introduced just for weight measurement and the mrtp a monopoly and restriction trade practice act uh, even the display of price order and indian patent act uh, package commodity order environmental act uh, consumer protection act there are too many act even the businessmen want to follow moving forward and technology is a play very important role there is a lot of technology available for the businessman even if they are not ready to update timely of course you don't have any control completely according to jk galbraith the technology is a systematic application of scientific organized or knowledge to the practical task because too many activity too many department they are install the technology because of their work will be easy after installing 
the company engage with the innovation and invention and finding let them implement their business idea and which result the profit and growth we instead of they are using a traditional technology the productivity is lesser that's why the modern technology there is a lot of demand that's what they are try to go for computerizing or implementing the latest technology whatever it is related to your business and even you can capture more and more customers following points explain the technological trend that affect the marketing environmental because there is a lot of trend there is a lot of demand towards the technology of course as a businessman you need to follow the pace of technology change because the rapid change the technology there is a rapid changes okay it is increasing very rapidly so it lead to the product obsolescence at the rapid phase if phase of technology change is very rapid then the organization need okay to modify their product when required because uh, the timely updation there is a latest latest technology when it is introducing for the business okay if they want to install that's what they are getting if they are installed of course they can survival because there is a latest technology as a marketers they want to well familiar about the technology what and all technology available either the technology which is related to transportation or shipping moving forward on the other hand if the technology is not changing at a rapid phase then there is no demand need for the organization to bring constant change in the product because every day now example you can take social media is playing very important role okay with the help of social media most of the company they are promoting their product they can capture too many customers okay so and even the research and the development now the r&d team is taking a lot of risk towards developing a product and collecting information about the competitors so many activity they are taking care here so it involve the increasing growth of opportunity for organization because when the r&d is always thinking for mind of innovations right that's what many organization have develop a separate team for r&d to bring innovation in the in its product so when you are uh, introducing a new product innovative product of course the customers are ready to purchase because you are providing a something called unique product for the customers and even the pharmaceutical organizations such as rambaxi and cipla have started they putting a greater efforts in the r&d because when they are try to search again and again of course they are finding a best product clear so and this effort they have to lead the great opportunity for global market because when r and d are taking searching again and again for new product okay introducing for the entire world entire globe market and increasing regulation when the technology is increasing of course regulation also want to implement right that's why government of india they are giving a guidelines for even of using a technology and uh, increasing uh, regulation it refers to government guideline Uh, to ban unsafe product okay so marketers should be aware of this regulation to prevent their violation because the government are introducing a rules and regulations towards technology of course as a marketers they want to implement they want to follow every pharmaceutical organization take the approval of the drug controller of india which laid down to standard for drug manufacturing because finally whatever you are produce a medicine finally it is go reaching for the end consumer before that you have to get a approval from the drug control of india moving forward under uh, again macro environmental from natural resource okay now as a businessman whatever they are getting a raw material which is completely based on the natural so the, you have to study thoroughly okay so in the nature we don't have any control we are not able to control we don't have any rights to control the nature the nature will be keep on change okay so it serve as a raw material for manufacture various product before starting any product you need to identify where i am getting a raw material so which raw materials where i will get okay so every organization consume natural resource for the production for its product because organizations everything the productions will be completely depending on the raw material raw material where it is coming which is coming from the natural source organizations are realizing the problem of depletions of resource and try best to use this resource 
for judicially because when the raw materials when it is a decrease of course the producer when they are not able to produce the product because of shortage in the raw material so you have to find out any alternative so thus some organization have indulged in the demarketing of their product when you are not finding a raw material slowly or marketing a product where you are going back because you are not focusing more sale because the productions will be completely depending on the raw material demarketing means what we are not promoting slightly promotion activity we are trying to stop clear so and for example indian oil corporation ioc try to reduce the demand for its product by promoting the advertisement such as save oil save india this word you can find out wherever when you are try to go for filling a petrol so there is one big board right that's what they are clearly specified for the general user and weather factor we don't have a control whether it is coming under natural resource of course there are too many raw materials depending on the weather okay weather basis only so it lead to opportunity for trade for the organization the weather factor also is reducing our demand okay for example in summer uh, demand for a water cooler and air condition cotton cloth and water increase uh, while winter because there is a in the summer season we are able to as a producers like air condition producer air cooler producer they are try to focus more sale because there is a lot of demand okay when on season there is no demand because of weather uh, clear so uh, the demand for woolen cloth and uh, room heater rise that's what when it is winter season because they there is a uh, too many product demand which is related to winter season targeting product uh, the market uh, marketing environmental is great influenced by the weather condition of the country because uh, each and every state uh, there is a something different uh, weather conditions we are able to identify so that's what as a marketers before that they want to study and next pollution is completely it is depending on the natural it include air water and noise pollution okay because of pollutions only as a marketers where they are not ready to focus more sales which lead to environmental degradations nowadays organization tend to promote the environmental friendly product that's what we are not spoiling society because on most of the consumers are always looking for the eco friendly product the because of pollution wherever whatever the product is purchased of course pollution will start from the manufacturing point so after you said when you are throwing the wrappers or a plastic for this environmental of course it is a polluted that's what it is going for the eco friendly products through its marketing activity for example the organization promote the usage jute and paper bag instead of plastic because of the government of india now it is not promoting a plastic bag so that's what there is a lot of demand for jute and paper bags and again last one under macro environmental international environmental international environmental it is not applicable for all the business uh, all the organization those who are dealing international trade okay so again when those who are dealing a international trade of course they want to study the international and environmental so the international environmental very important from point of view of certain category of business because those who are doing a transaction in different country those who are selling or getting a product in between different country of course they want to study the international environmental we don't have any control it is particularly important for industry directly depending on export and import because most of the raw material equipment we are getting from other country or we are exporting for other country so that's what we need to study the international environmental example a recession for foreign market or the adoption of the practitionist policy may help the export oriented industry because of recession we are not able to expect the majority of sales okay that's what you need to study according to the different different country policy what they made clear so similarly liberalization of import uh, import may help some industry which used to imported item liberalization means we are giving a permission for other country or we are getting a materials from the other country or equipment we are getting of course it is a import imported items adversely affect the import competing uh, industry when those who are doing activities which is related to import and export when they are doing import duty import activities of course they want to thorough with the import procedures and similarly international bodies like wto world trade organization international monetary fund world health organization 
international labor organization okay have had a major impact on the influencing policy and trade of the many country especially in india because when you are doing any activity within india or outside india towards whichever the organizations what they made policy towards your activity or business of course you need to study keep on watch for next section thank you